obviously Chuchoki goes in one, France and a Belgium in uh, in uh, Chuchoki goes in two, Belgium in three, France and uh, Applegate of Great Britain in four, Tutus of Netherlands in five, Breuer of Germany in six, and Indriani of Indonesia goes in lane seven. Valeria Shavalina, the world record holder at 218.37. There's no Paralympic record for this event, so a Paralympic record standard is what's been set. In other words, a record won't be registered unless they dip below that record standard. We should see the likes of Jessica Jane Applegate go well below the 2.30 mark. Will she decide to swim that time in the preliminaries, however, is another story. Jockey, France and Applegate, Tutus, Bruyer, Indriani as they get away. Going in lane four, expect to see Applegate come out in front, and Applegate does come out in front, ahead of France and of Belgium, who's looking good. Indriani is having a fine fly stroke, but is losing a little now as Tutus of the Netherlands makes up on the stroke. It's Applegate leading from France and over Tutus at the moment. Uh, Applegate, though, somebody who's wanting to... Uh, close out a successful Rio 2016 already medals in the 200 free and the 100 back wanting to uh, put herself into medal contention again in her fourth event of Rio 2016 looking for her third medal in the women's 200 IMS in 14 but this still the preliminaries she leads into the backstroke now ahead of France and though Tutor's falling off the pace in the back is expected but uh, Breuer of Germany will make up some ground and Indriani is pushing for the third place overall but Applegate ahead of France as they approach the 100 split Applegate just looking extremely comfortable she hasn't taken it out too quickly but she's just testing herself a little on the backstroke leg a little bit more speed in the back end of that of the second length of the pool and she'll cruise through the breaststroke leg. She has a substantial lead on France. And interestingly, Indriani, as we mentioned from Indonesia, having a great swim in lane seven, currently in third position. Tutors in five is now saying to pick up the pace, but staying in touch with the pair of them is Brauer from Germany. So a jostling on for third place, but I don't think anyone is going to challenge Jessica Jane Applegate, who's consolidated her lead, hasn't built on it, but has consolidated it through the third length of the pool and set herself up really nicely for the final 50 free. Well, Franson will be wanting to uh, try to show that she's got the ability to swim well in uh, this event because she made the final of Glasgow and then was disqualified in the final, France of Belgium. Somebody, though, who's who failed to medal at the World Championships overall, but will be wanting to put herself into medal contention. Going for a, a good place overall. Now, bear in mind the record standard here is 230.69 for the Paralympic record. If uh, Applegate goes under that, it'll be a new Paralympic record, and it's going to be fairly close. She might just get there and does so. Only just the Paralympic record for Jessica Jane Applegate at 230.11. Bronson will touch second fastest, and Indriani of Indonesia is going to register the third place finish in this race just ahead of Tutors, so a Paralympic record in the first heat of the women's 200 IM SF14. It goes the way of Great Britain's Jessica Jane Applegate. Indriani, what a good swim from lane seven. Jessica Jane Applegate took the lead and didn't relinquish that advantage. She's already a medalist in free and backstroke events at Rio 2016. Looking to combine her strengths in the 200 individual medley SM14 and a Paralympic record as a result. Jessica Jane Applegate, Paralympic record time ahead of Franson and Indriani of Indonesia touching third fastest ahead of Tutors of Netherlands.